up guys bass boys here it's me and ryan back out here doing some cat fishing today targeting channel cats uh, i don't think there's flatheads in here we're gonna be using shad cut shad like on thong because i have it in the freezer and then i always forget to take it out before we're gonna fish but i'm over here Looking for a spot to stick the rod holder because we need that rod holder. Found a spot here. And the big issue right now is the whole bottom's like rocks. Freaking ants, man. Ants crawling all over me. <laughs> yeah. Let's get into what Ryan's doing here. Searching. Gotta find somewhere to put this. Alright guys, we're almost about ready here. So we got the bait today, I just showed you. Got like a body section of a shad right there. Using circle hooks of course. And this is the Sandy Cooper rig. Got a little float on there. The rest of them are Carolina rigs. Just a sinker and a barrel swivel and some beads and stuff. These red beads, they're good for, uh, so you don't destroy your knot. But yeah, that's our setup for this rod. This is just a ugly stick catfish rod. It's the cheap white one. And then uh, the catfish special bait caster. 7,000, Abu Garcia. I'm gonna get this casted out there. Lob this out. It's not very deep here. So, should already hit the bottom. I'm just going to stick this in the right holder here. wait get the other ones out there we got three rods today Ryan's casting his out all right that's perfect perfect I mean I mean usually they're just like right around the shores <laughs> that should work all right, so Ryan's got his piece out there he's got a body section piece too and I'm going to put another body section on the big rod. We got to be conservative with our baits here because I don't have a ton of cut bait today. Depending on will there be a bite or not. That's what it all depends on. And then this one, this is my best, better catfish rod here. It's the Catfish Sumo. Golly Whopper, cat, Kaya Catfish. It's a medium heavy. It's uh, eight foot. And then I got it on a Daiwa Seagate. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, it's a 35 size. Ryan's already got a hit. <laughs> so that's good. Hopefully it doesn't chew off the bait. And this rod, I got the mon I got the monster circle hook on there, the 10 on. I was leaving it on there for, for a different place, but I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to use this hook. Because this rod would be more for like big flatheads. I'm just going to put this piece of, big piece of shad here. On that hook, I guess. This thing launched out. All right. Let's 
freaking bug fly around me. Don't kiss that damn thing. Big ass bug. All right. Got all the rods out now. None of them are on clickers or nothing. Because I got some pretty stationary on the ground there. So they should set it themselves. Alright, so we've been out here for about 20 minutes so far. The only bites we've been getting is the one over there in Ryan's rod. So all we could do is wait. Wait for a bite. Uh, just reeled in all the rods and just recasted them again. Kind of got them all from this right corner here. They're all like slanted a little towards there. Haven't had a bite in a while. Ryan's rod's the only one I had to hit a couple. But let's see what time it is. It's about seven o'clock, so. Could be a bite happening pretty soon. I think I got him. Oh, we just hooked up with one, guys. Anyway. He's a good one. I was just keep talking to him, like idiot Ryan got any hits. And then I get one. Yeah, not a bad one. I was just walking over my rod. Hey, look at that, that's actually not a bad one. Yeah, chubby one. I ain't sticking my hand in that freaking catfish's mouth. There's that one. It's a pretty good chunky one right there. Got a fat belly. release of this chunk. We got one. At least we got our bait back there. He freaking shredded it up pretty good. We're just gonna rehook it. Just throw it back out. Delete it again. not over you. No. I don't know how he somehow managed to not get any of the rods tangled. They're all like right next to each other. These catfish always know. They always know something. I was just walking down to I was gonna go check the bait on the rod. I was just standing there. Standing there like thinking I should move it move it to a different spot, cast it somewhere else, and then that fish decides to hit it at the perfect time. All right, we got some action on Ryan's rod again. But yeah, just reel it if it goes. He's all here over there just getting players. <laughs> oh, might have saw it again move. The line getting to that time now sun's like almost set Ryan's here in the room that bait gonna check it okay. it still looks pink and meaty it looks chewed but I mean there ain't no reason to no reason to change that out no I got fresh bait but no reason they should eat that. Definitely. Okay, as well, you can see it's dark now. It's been a while since uh, we had a bite here. Ever since that one I caught, nothing. Well, he's sitting over there. He hasn't had a hit. 
we're gonna give it like seven more minutes, five more minutes maybe, something like that. How much does it hurt? <laughs> Ryan's ass hurts. He's been sitting at his bag here for like, had to have been there for like two hours, right? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, he's been over here, hidden in the bush. There you go. No bites though. No. Not for a while. All right, guys. Well, anyway, there was a one fish kind of day out there. It's got that one fat body, fat body channel, fat head. Thought it was gonna be a better day. Right after that one, it seemed like the the wind calmed down. The water was like glass, and then nothing ever happened. I guess hit the like button if you like the video. This will be a short video. And uh, subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Bye.